Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or even good night from every part of this beautiful planet that you are watching me from. My name is Juliet Papa, and I am your host for Food Like It Should Be. of this show it's a show that i am going to be sharing different uh, concepts fact based um, information about food how we should prepare food uh, how it affects our body and why we should consume it and i'm also going to be addressing various uh, misconceptions about food uh, that are out there uh, sometimes you hear things, sometimes you hear something like this type of food helps you lose weight. Um, but if you look in the real sense, it has no underlying facts. So one thing that I want you to note from this day forward, that anything that I'm going to be sharing with you on this platform is purely based on facts, not fiction and not opinion. That's it. So in our Heart Healthy Meal series episode today, we are going to be talking about traditional vegetables and a vegetable that is very close to my heart is uh, cowpea sleeves. This is a vegetable that I grew up consuming, although I have to admit that I didn't like consuming it because of how it was prepared. Uh, and anybody who has uh, had uh, exposure to this vegetable knows very well that it has a very uh, hard texture and it also has a very bitter taste. So to be able to consume it, um, you need to uh, practice or treat it in a way that will ensure that the texture is uh, a little bit soft and also that it's not bitter uh, when you're consuming it because you need to be able to swallow it. Growing up, I didn't like eating it, like I mentioned, but life or God had other plans for me. I didn't know that I would meet someone later on in life in my adulthood that would make me love this vegetable and who I'm referring to in this case is my husband. Um, we come from different uh, regions of the country and Sometimes when you get married to somebody, you don't really choose what you become or um, some of the things that you do. In this case, I'm referring to um, absorbing or rather getting to practice the cultures that you partner grew up in. And in my case, I really had no choice because it's a good thing. And this recipe that I'm going to be sharing with you about uh, the cowpea sleeves recipe it's a recipe that i got from my husband and anybody from western kenya uh can agree with me that it's the best recipe ever so a little bit background information about cowpeas they're mostly grown uh, in western african countries in mo and also in east africa uh, mostly in kenya and it's a very low maintenance vegetable to grow you just need to plant it it does not require um, uh, uh, pesticides or uh, any other uh, input that may be uh, uh, required to yield uh, its production so in this case you just plant and wait uh, it also doesn't require a lot of water to grow so once you harvest the leaves uh, then the real business starts so uh, before we start on the recipe I'm going to uh, share with you some of the benefits that come along with consuming this vegetable it's a very 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 good source of vitamins uh, it's very rich in vitamin a mm, it also has iron iron is a mineral uh, we know very iron plays a very important role in our uh, blood uh, people who have low iron content in their blood they suffer from anemia so whenever you have to be treated by a doctor either you're pregnant or 
uh, have any uh, prevailing conditions or underlying conditions and you happen to uh, have, be anemic, you be treated with iron so that it can encourage your body to produce more blood uh, into your system. So um, the fact that uh, this vegetable has a very tough texture, like I mentioned, it's a very good source of fiber. But how can we make sure that this fiber is consumable or it's palatable? Uh, in other words, pleasant when we put it in our mouth to consume it. And due to the high fiber content, this vegetable has been used to control weight uh, in weight management because uh, fiber consumption makes you uh, when you consume five foods that are rich in fiber you become fuller faster and in that case you will not feel hungry it's just like filler material into your stomach it's not really uh, energy oriented and in that case you end up losing all the weight and that's a good thing right also help with heart health and like I mentioned, this is our heart healthy meal series. So this vegetable is very good at ensuring that we have proper heart health. Another thing that is uh, known to uh, be present in this vegetable is uh, antioxidants. And these are very good in uh, um, breaking down the free radicals in your body that are known to cause uh, various forms of cancers. So I am going to share with you various papers. This show is based on pure facts uh, and we're just treating food like it should be. Exactly what it's supposed to do in our bodies. Food like it should be. So back to antioxidants. They help fight the free radicals in your body that are prone to causing cancer various forms of cancer. I'm not going to be specific. I am not well versed in that topic. And two papers, uh, one from the University of Nairobi. Thank you, Dr. Abong and your group. This paper was really helpful. And another one from our uh, university is Nigeria. Uh, were published that indeed prove that this vegetable is a good is a good vegetable in terms of fighting various um, diseases or conditions. So, how do we really cook this vegetable? How? Any ideas? before I share what I know hmm? Hmm? or your idea of cooking it is my idea of cooking it I don't know let's all find out in the kitchen so will you follow me to my kitchen <sighs> if you happen to be watching this for the very first time thank you so much I do appreciate uh, you coming. I am grateful for that. And if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, it's probably the high time you did that now. Okay, I'm waiting. I am not going to the kitchen until you guys subscribe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you subscribed? Also, leave a comment down there and tell me how I'm doing so far. I am so new at this thing. Alright, I am well aware that by now you have subscribed. And I am very grateful. Let's have fun together. This is food like it should be. So to begin with, you are going to wash your copy leaves, uh, as you can see here, uh, right after the harvesting. I got this from my uh, summer garden. Uh, it's among the last few uh, harvests. So make sure you get rid of all the debris in the soil 
um, like this and then you are going to uh, pass through a filter to get rid of all the water uh, as you are washing. So I am done washing my vegetables and the next step is uh, you should have boiling water about uh, one gallon. Uh, it should be boiling as you can see and about uh, one tablespoon of baking soda. Uh, alternatively you can use like uh, in the Kenyan villages they use uh, uh, magadi soda. Uh, or any other food grade uh, alkali salt because the idea is to uh, react the acid in the uh, leaves with uh, alkali to neutralize the acidity which contributes to the bitterness of the vegetable uh, it also helps to break down the fiber and make it softer uh, like uh, i mentioned before and once you add the vegetable you are going to uh, mix it up uh, with the water to make sure all the parts of the leaf uh, touches the hot boiling water that's mixed with uh, uh, baking soda like that and then uh, you are going to cover uh, your part and let it boil on high for about five to seven minutes and you know it's ready when it starts to bubble and uh, cause all this uh, excitement. And you're going to take your uh, cooking stick and stir that way. This is so much fun, guys. and once it's done you are going to uh, get rid of all the hot liquid uh, and then rinse one time uh, in cold water and uh, filter everything uh, prepare your onions cut them into dices you can add garlic if you're a garlicky person like me uh, and then uh, use uh, about two tablespoons of olive oil and uh, fry your onions like that until they begin to turn a little golden-ish, brown-ish. But this particular step is basically according to your desired uh, onion color. For me, I don't like to cook my onions all the way. Uh, I like to have uh, some crunchiness. So add some salt, uh, iodized salt and pepper, black pepper. I love black pepper. I use black pepper for almost everything that I cook in my house. Uh, stir a little bit like that. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. and i'm assuming you already cut your tomatoes 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 i don't care tomatoes uh and then add them onto your onion uh garlic mixture like that mix 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 let's keep mixing mix 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 Mix, mix, mix. And then cover your uh, part and reduce the heat to medium low, like that. And simmer for another five minutes. And guys, I'm so sorry, but this is just me. This is probably a good time to open a bottle of rosé or any other wine. I like to call it mommy juice. So it's time for my mommy juice as my tomatoes are simmering. Uh, I am having my mommy juice and oh, it's already done. Okay. So the tomatoes have released all the juice 
that was inside of them. Uh, and this is what we want uh, to add some flavor to our vegetable, to our kunde or matharoko in my matatang, in my okuyu. And you add the vegetables uh, right after, like that. And uh, when you remove all the water after boiling, they sort of uh, like to uh, clump together. Uh, you really have to work your magic here in separating each and every leaf from its twin. Uh, and this is how it looks like after you're done. Uh, like that. It looks delicious. Oh my God, I cannot wait to eat this with ugali. Um, in my family, we cook two different types of ugali. My husband likes uh, white ugali and I like the finger millet ugali or the brown ugali. Uh, so as you'll see later, uh, I'll share both with uh, white and brown ugali. Don't judge me guys, this is just me and my little uh, village. Uh, you're going to let it uh, seem a little longer uh, for like three minutes and then here I am trying to oh, can't wait and it's delicious it is delicious and soft and it, it just melts into your mouth so I'm just going to set it aside and cook my ugali so this is the finished product uh, i had some wings that i had prepared earlier on in the day uh, in the grill if you'd like me to do a video on how to do this uh, please comment below and this is me munching on my brown ugali oh my god this is awesome oh oh heaven come down yes so that's it guys a very simple recipe um let me know what you think uh you can comment uh on maybe how you make it at home this is how i, I was taught uh to prepare it and it's working so until i have a different way this shall remain my standard way of making my kunde. So that's it guys. Uh, that's all I had for you today. And uh, thank you so much for staying with me all this time and watching this episode. Uh, I hope you have learned something and that it has changed your life for good so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so so that you don't miss out on anything uh, for the future i have great content lined up for you and we are gonna have fun together and enjoy life with food like it should be right so thank you so much god bless you and until next time bye bye